So once the uh, Oracle VM with all the changes is uh, uh, up and running, uh, we can continue with the, uh, with the setup. Um, the next uh, uh, script, uh, six uh, script, basically uh, um, uh, copy the Oracle home. Um, if you uh, look into the uh, into this uh, script, um, you can see that I have here a path of my Oracle uh, installation. This whole uh, uh, setup and automation was tested with the uh, Oracle uh, 19C. Um, uh, most likely it will uh, work with anything that is uh, newer, uh, but it does have an Oracle uh, response file when uh, you install the software that was tested with the A19C. Um, so I'm providing the full path. Again, I'm also uh, providing the full path to the uh, Oracle home per the Oracle uh, uh, recommendation. Um, the script also download the workload uh, generator uh, slob that we are going to test uh, the Oracle performance with um, into the uh, Oracle machine. The script also uh, takes some time uh, to run, so we are going to uh, start it and come back when it is uh, done. So now that we copied the Oracle uh, software, let's start to create some uh, Lightbits volume that we are going to use uh, with a, for the Oracle database. Uh, this script takes a lot of uh, parameters, but the important thing to understand about it is that it has two options on how to use the volumes that we are going to create. Either we create the volumes and then MD, MDADM rate zero them on the Oracle uh, server, Oracle client, or uh, we create for slob a sort of a, a ratio of a table space per uh, data file per light bits volume. Uh, so 16 table spaces, 16 uh, data files, 16 uh, light bits uh, volume. Um, so I'm going to, uh, again, provide the Oracle client that we are going to uh, use on the Azure um, uh, username that we need to use, the number of uh, uh, volumes uh, that we're going to create with replica 3, 35 gigabyte in size, and we are going to use the simple uh, distribution. And uh, once uh, uh, this is done, I'll continue to the uh, next phase. So once the script is uh, done, we can see that we created uh, 16 volumes for the data files and also an another one uh, for the system uh, table space, created a file system across all of them, uh, added them into uh, uh, its CFS tab, and they are all uh, mounted and ready to be used. So the next uh, script uh, that we are going to run is basically to uh, install the uh, Oracle software. Um, and uh, that is going to um, uh, basically open the uh, Oracle home that we, uh, uh, Oracle software that we copied uh, uh, before and, um, um, and will be ready to uh, uh, create a database. So uh, once this is done, we will uh, continue with the next script. So now that we have uh, Oracle software installed, uh, we can actually create, finally, an Oracle uh, database. Uh, we're going to use uh, the ninth uh, script in this uh, uh, group of scripts. And again, uh, what this will uh, do is just a normal Oracle uh, creation of a database. It's uh, using uh, the uh, create database uh, scripts from the uh, slob uh, tar file that uh, we've uh, down previously uh, downloaded. Um, so I'm just gonna provide, again, the clients that we're going to uh, use, the Oracle, uh, uh, the Azure user that we need to access the, the client, the number of schemas. If you uh, recall, we created a 16 uh, uh, light bits volumes or uh, four 16 uh, uh, data files. So we're gonna use uh, 16 with a simple um, distribution. Um, and that's uh, pretty much uh, it. This will take a while, uh, as uh, anytime you create an Oracle database. So once this is done, we'll come back. 
So we have uh, created an Oracle database. As we can see, the script also created all the table space for uh, slob uh, to use. And the last uh, script that we are going to run is basically populate all these um, uh, table space with uh, data that slob uh, can, uh, uh, can use. So we're going to, uh, again, supply the uh, Oracle client and the number of schemas uh, that we have created. Uh, schemas equals basically table space equals uh, data files equals light bits volumes. And once this is done, we will continue and I'll show you how to run uh, slope test and uh, um, how to view the results.